Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing something to do with the uh, the water system. It's to do with the uh, the wastewater, um, but I will actually run through how the um, you know the actual water pump and all that kind of stuff works. So I thought we'd take a look at the whole system and then I'll show you what I'm trying to achieve. I'll, I'll show you the problem I've got and how I'm going to solve it. So um, yeah, let's dive into it and see what we're going to get on with. So here's my little sink and tap. Um, looks lovely, but how does it work? So let's dive into that and find out. So what do we need to make this work? First thing, we're going to need a tap. Now this is a tap with a, like a tiny little micro switch inside. As you can see, the two wires there. You'll need a leisure battery or some kind of battery. And we'll need a pump and a water container. And first things first is connect up the pump to the tap. So goes from the pump to the inlet of the tap, those little blue things which always break. And then the next thing to do is to wire it up. And it's really simple this. So you need a positive wire going to one side of the switch. Then from the other side of the switch, that goes to the positive of the, uh, the water pump. And then the negative wire from the water pump goes to the negative of the battery. So the final thing that you'll need is a fuse which will be in line on the positive wire. And then that's it. That's as simple as it is. So how this works is when you lift up the lever on the tap, it operates the switch and opens the valve on the tap as well. So the pump will start and the water will just simply pump through the system and out your tap. And that's it. Simple as that. But let's get back to what we're trying to achieve today and let's have a look. So as you can see, I've only got one container down there and that is for four. Gosh, that nearly smacked me in the face, that chair. So I've only got one container, which is for fresh water. Um, I'll just get that out of the way. There you can see the pump that goes in there. So get that out of the way. So when the water drains out of the sink, it goes down a tube, which you can see there. It's just a garden hose. This isn't a standard sort of thing to use, to be honest with you. <clears throat> it, the diameter is a bit small. Um, but there you go. It's absolutely fine. I've got on with it for years now, so it's fine. Um, then it gets rooted outside, as you can see here. Now, what I normally do is I have this container, which is my wastewater container. As you can see, I've got a hose fitting on there, um, which I'm hoping to actually use uh, with this new setup. Um, but I'll just take the lid off and show you what I do. I literally walk the container around to the outside. Now, again, you imagine this if I was in a car park or something, just wanting to make a cup of tea or want to make some food. This isn't really going to be possible, which is one of the reasons for doing this change. But I've got to put it under the pipe and just leave it outside. Now, if I'm on uneven ground, that doesn't fit under there. So that's a real pain. So what I want to be able to do is to actually have the wastewater container either inside or outside. So that's kind of the project today is to make that happen. Right. So my idea is the wastewater container is going to go down the bottom. And then I'm going to be able to route the, uh, the water either into there or disconnect it and then connect it to the pipe that goes outside so I can have both and I think that's the way to do it. You need to have the option I think so that's what this is all about today kind of giving myself more options. I used to have it inside the van ages ago but I'm kind of going back to that and um, hopefully this will be pretty cool. So the, the fresh water is then going to go above the, uh, the, other, the wastewater one. And this is going to be pretty cool as well because it means I'm going to be able to keep my eye on the, uh, the water level. I think I must have used this before, as you can see, it's a slightly bit rusty, and I think I used to use it for the water. So these are really slim line using these brackets, obviously with the shells, but I've only got one. So I know where the other one is. It's here. It's actually holding up a shelf in my garage. So I'm gonna have to steal that and um put something else on. So I found these wooden ones, but um shh, don't tell the wife. I'm not supposed to take these, but yeah, I'm having them. So through the magic of editing. Boom, there we go. I've nicked it. She'll never know. So now I've got two brackets, which is ideal. So these are perfect because they are strong enough. Um, I know because I've, I've actually used them before for this actual, for the water container in the, on a previous conversion. So yeah, nice and slim line. Now I just need to start to get the level of where the uh, water container is going to go. So as you can see, uh, it's not actually going to come out like that. So um, you watch this, brainstorming, move the chair, no problem. And out it slides. Obviously you've got to be careful with how much waste what was in there because you don't want it spilling out as you take that out. So that's the only thing I've got to be concerned about. 
but I'm going to get this water container as high as I can to, so it gives me a, a maximum amount of room to get the, the waste water out. So I'm just kind of getting the level right. And it's just a case of marking it and then screwing these uh, brackets onto the side of the cabinet. Now I don't want the screws to go all the way through so I'm actually using um, some washers with the, uh, the screws as well. And that's looking pretty good. Well there we go, all in. That's looking pretty solid there for the water drinking water container. But I do need to make sure I strap it on there because I don't want it falling off so I don't think I'm going to find myself some kind of strap system to hold that on there. And lo and behold, here is a strap. My God. So that's quite handy. And um, this is perfect. Yeah, it looks nice and strong. Perfect for the job. Here it is. I've already put it in and I think that's looking pretty good. As you can see, I've just put it on with a couple of screws and some washers and that'll be perfectly uh, tight enough for that and as you can see wastewater comes out pretty easily as you can see it really does trap it in there as well so that's pretty cool and I can access that little um, air hole as well at the top which is cool so yesterday I ordered some parts to make this all kind of come together and work and they did just arrive in time so these were dirt cheap off Amazon and this contains more than I need um, but they're so cheap that you end up getting more than you need which is not a bad thing is it? So that's all I need is those two connectors and that little kind of joiner thing. So that is basically it. That is all I needed to actually do. Um, pretty simple really. And that connects it obviously as it is there to the outside world. And then I've just got to disconnect it from there and put it straight into the container for internal. It's as simple as that. So nothing fancy. Trying to do it with one hand though is literally impossible. <laughs> Filming this was like an absolute nightmare so difficult. So now it's done I think it's time to give it all a good test and make sure everything works as it should. So this is currently routed to the outside pipe. As you can see, it's leaking all over the drive. Perfect.
and now routed to the internal container. You probably all want to go to the toilet during this video, I should think. <laughs> so that's flowing quite nicely. Just got to make sure it flows in there. Flow, flow, flow. Perfect. As you can see, I can really see the water level when it's um, up high now, because I didn't used to be able to see that, because it used to be like right down the bottom. So that's a, that's pretty cool, that. And that little um, little cap there just means you can uh, let the air flow when you're actually pumping water. Now here's another thing that I've got here. Um, it's a little strainer I made ages ago, and I forgot about this, and I just found it in the uh, in the garage. So this would be great because the uh, the diameter of those uh, pipe fittings are, is quite small. I don't want bits of pasta or whatever that just got through. So it's like a tiny little miniature drainer. So hopefully that works all right. You can still fit the plug in there. So I think that'll work pretty well. Well, there we have it. I've uh, done the job, and I'm really happy with that. That's uh, worked out even better than expected. Um, yeah, just a few simple hose pipe connectors. Still got, still got a little bag left of them as well. But um, yeah, that's worked really well. It just means I can now put my water, my grey water tank inside or outside, and that oh, it's going to be excellent. So because um, you know, I used to go to car parks, and I didn't really like draining the water outside or taking the the tub outside and actually putting the the water tub underneath the van. I felt a bit conscious doing that. So this is going to be great if I want to do any kind of like stealth camping or while camping and stuff so this is just going to keep it all internal to the van so uh, i reckon that's really good um so it's really simple just a really easy way of, of um doing it nothing complicated there just hose pipe fittings i was going to do it with like taps because you could i could have um, had them have them permanently in two places with a uh, taps but i just thought i know what's going to happen i'm just going to forget to turn one of the taps and i'm just going to have it leaking all over the floor this way i know where it is i have to physically put it in the place where it needs to be kind of like a fail safe sort of thing so yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I've got one coming up real soon again, actually, because I've got another thing to do, which um, I've been looking forward to doing for quite a while. So there's always something to do. So <laughs> that's a great thing, isn't it? Um, anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Thanks for watching.